Good morning and welcome to the very last day of September here on planet Earth. It is Wednesday. I am on my way to work. It is Vlogtober Eve and I thought that I would start the vlogs for Vlogtober a day early. Ooh. One moment while I just turn out of a junction safely. I thought I would start the vlogs a day early because I wanted to get myself back into the swing of it. I'm working today, so I won't have the opportunity to film loads. So it'll give me a nice easy start back into it. And also just to introduce you to what it's all about. So let's get this long country road out of the way first. And I'll come back and tell you a little bit more. We're in the work car park, it's half past eight. My back is killing me. I pulled a muscle in my back doing Natasha Ocean hip workouts. I've been doing them for a few weeks and I've been really enjoying them, but I just went, did something awkward on Saturday morning. I've really pulled a muscle in my lower back and it's the first time I've driven since then. So <laughs> it really hurts. I've forgotten my face mask. This is the second day in a row that I've been out somewhere and forgotten my face mask. Now, fortunately I keep a packet of the disposable ones in my glove box just in case but I can't believe two days in a row I've been that absent-minded and I've got a little sticker on the back of my front door that says mask <laughs> but I think I'm gonna have to put something in my car now as well because for some reason I'm I was getting into the habit of it but my brain's just looped back to not needing to be um very frustrating because I don't like the medical ones I like my handmade ones it wouldn't have even been a problem if I had left if I didn't even have spares because I work on a hospital site. I work in a museum that's on a hospital site and they hand masks out at the gate. So in case you're wondering, Vlogtober, which starts tomorrow on the 1st of October, is a yearly event where vloggers all over the world uh, commit to trying to make a little a daily vlog every day for the month of October. It, it's not for the faint-hearted, I would say. You need. I've done a few vlog series before and I'm, I've got used to how I can build that into my day. I really, really love it. I use it as a method of finding the little fun moments in my day, honing in on the good things, the things I want to remember, and a little sort of diary. I've always been a diary keeper since I was... I don't know, 10 years old, I've got I've got books and books and books, notepads, proper diaries, sketchbooks, everything that I've just kept um, for years and years and years. Um, I've been a blogger in the past. I've kept at least four or five different blogs since I was about 19, um, although I haven't written a blog in a long time. And 
vlogging is just another extension of that kind of diary keeping so I really enjoy it so every day for the month of October you'll get a little vlog from my daily life I'm a very crafty creative person my channel is about knitting and crochet if you're a long time viewer you already know this <laughs> um, so there'll be a lot of that kind of thing and generally silliness we try to get out and about a lot on days out at the weekends although that's going to be a little bit different this year uh, given the current situation worldwide with covid and also when i last did a vlog series it was quite a long one it was the longest one i've ever done and i vlogged all throughout lockdown and it was a real experience and it really did help keep me sane throughout a very difficult time and i'm really glad i did that because i always have the record of what we were going through at that time but i couldn't have imagined back then in march april may june that um we might be staring at another miniature lockdown come October. So they are talking here in the UK about doing uh, maybe one or two week lockdown in the October half term. So nothing's been confirmed yet. Watch this space. Um, right, I have got something to show you before I go in. Oops, just dropped my phone under the passenger seat. First of all, I am using my crocheted bag that I made and finished. It's very, very roomy. I'm very excited to be using it today. And in it, no, that's a light. It's not in here. It's in my other bag that's got my laptop in it. I finished the cowl I was making and there's been a little bit of an alteration. So um, if you watched my last podcast, which was episode 66, I talked about making this crochet cowl from a set of minis. And I would started with the grey, worked my way to the pink, got to the blue and then the purple and the next colour in the mini set which is by Back to Blighty Yarns was going to be a sort of speckled so white with speckles of all of these colours but then we realised well my eldest daughter who's a huge BTS fan realised that this was beginning to look rather like the colour palette of the dynamite video of BTS and she quite fancied that so she asked if I could instead add a pastel yellow which I have done and this is now her dynamite bts inspired cow which it never was supposed to be but turned into that because that's what she wanted now i she very reluctantly let me have this today so that i could show you and take some pictures and then she's going to get it after when i get home from work today and then i'll never get it back again <laughs> so that's the finished cow the cow is a pattern from simply crochet magazine it's by Sarah Shrimpton of Vanaboo's house and each section, each colour section has a different, um, a different texture pattern. So there's the yellow, there's the purple pattern and so on. I'll put this on my Ravelry page so you can get a good look at it. It's a bit difficult showing something like this in the work car park if I'm honest. Right, I'm going to go into work. I won't be filming anything whilst I'm at work bit too difficult for that so the next time you see me I'll probably be either on my way home or at home <laughs> I'm back in the car. My work day is finished. I've now got to drive my way back through South London and home where I shall take over with Phoebe and Dan is going to take Lilia to her Wednesday night flute lesson which has started again with um, all kinds of Covid procedures in place and then when they get back I'm going to have a nice hot bath. I'm really looking forward to it. So it's all looking very autumnal here. The, um, the site where I work is absolutely beautiful. 
and the trees have really started to turn since I was last here on Friday. They've really started to go orange and yellow and red. It's lovely. There is a magpie, a single magpie sitting on a sign looking at me. If you've watched my vlogs before, you will know the only thing I am suspic suspicious, superstitious about is blinking magpies and they're everywhere. I need to see two because that means happiness and joy. Anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting on about magpies, get myself home. I am home. So in Vlogtober, it's not just me. There are others. You stood Hi. up at just the right time then. <laughs> there is Phoebe. And there is Dan. Hello, and there people. is Lilia upstairs. And Lilia's upstairs, but she's a teenager, so... If you catch a glimpse of her, it's like a rare and precious sighting. I'm going to take the... Right. There's a towel hanging here in the hallway. Why is that annoying? Because at the weekend, we put up hooks on the back of the... But not on the back of the door, behind the bathroom door to put towels on. <sighs> anyway, I'm on my way up the stairs to give Lilia back, ooh, cool lighting, her cow. Let's see if we can get a sighting. Hello. Hi. Here is your cow. I photographed it, it is now yours. Okay, it's now about half past six. Dan has taken Lilia off to her flute lesson. I'm going to run a bath shortly. Uh, Phoebe's just got out of the shower and we're going to go and do her jigsaw. Uh, one of the ideas that we had for Vlogtober this year, and it's going to be part planned and part just made up as we go along, is we're going to nominate a song of the day for each day, as long as I remember. Um, and it'll be a song that we just like or a song that we uh, happen to be into that day or a song that represents that day or means something to us or whatever the reason, we're gonna try and pick a song of the day every day of October. Um, obviously I can't play it on the, on the videos because I monetize my videos and you're not allowed to do that, that is naughty. So feel free to go and um, search them up on whatever streaming service you use, look them up, listen to them and it'll be nice to know that people everywhere were all listening to the same song that day and hopefully you might discover something you might not have heard before or never thought to listen to before. We have, an, a very, we have a very eclectic taste in music in this house. Um, it ranges from everything from really cheesy pop and, or classical to um, rock music, musicals, everything and everything goes. We like everything. So we're gonna kick it off with a little less conversation by Elvis Presley because today Matt Davis died and he wrote that song and it's a great song, we love it. So. Go and use your music streaming service, search up a little, le a, a little less conversation, have a dance around the kitchen, listen to it whilst you're on your way to work, whilst you're out for your walk, and it'd be nice knowing that we've all listened to the same song on the same day. Just something fun to do throughout the uh, autumn month of October. Right, I'm gonna go and get jigsawing with Phoebe. That sounds like we're actually gonna saw things, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> 